GDCAP 26 here, just do tips and repairs and hobbies. And we've got the Master SB82 airbrush here. And let's get right into this. Let's open it up. This is close and exact duplicate, actually, of the Iwata. Of course, it is not as priced the same as the Iwata. Let's pick it up out of the box. Um, not bad. Not bad weight to it. It's got the preset in back here, so you can preset your trigger. Let's feel the trigger. And the trigger feels about the same. Turn it back here, and you just got air, that like that. Turn it about a couple turns. See, this is turning already. Turn it a couple turns out, and we've got, we can pull it back and do some air. So, let's turn this down a little bit tighter. It's got the cutout knob for the needle, which is right here. So you can pull the needle back. And different from the Iwata, it's got a fluted, like you can see it in there, right there. Fluted cap, nozzle cap there. And it also has, you can switch from either side with this plug you can pull the plug out um, we're just going to do it from one side let's let's pull the container out I want to show you the container let's put the brush down there's the container uh, nine millimeter I believe and that top is on there pretty good good fit to the top okay and I want to show you this because a lot of people don't see inside these containers and I hope you can see that that pipe goes all the way down to the bottom of the um, bottom of the cup so that's how it sucks the paint out because you see it comes in through here people say well gee how does the paint go up into the airbrush well it goes all the way to the bottom like so okay so let's stick this on the side here in and when you put it on you're supposed to twist it on when you put put it on the airbrush and twist it off when you pull it off for a good seal and that's how it is like that. Let's turn this down, turn open this up a little bit. This needle. There we go. Eh, the trigger feels pretty good. It's got a um, regular nozzle uh, wrench, okay? And uh, you don't really have to clean out the nozzle. You don't want to fool off that too, too much. I've showed you in other videos how to clean the nozzle. It's got a, a dropper to lube things okay or use for paint if you want and it's got a extra coupling here to thread on a hose and put that back in the box and let's pull the cup off twist it off and I heard I don't know let's try this no it doesn't work I thought maybe it would the Aztec would fit on there let's twist this back on and uh, we're going to fill it up with paint and uh, do some painting on here. So we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, let's try this out and see how it does. Oh, wow. That's a point two zero needle. But far away, it's doing some pretty good coverage. Let's go close. I think we've got a little bit too much air going through the gun, so let's turn it down a little bit. See if we can turn the compressor down to about 15. Let's try it at 15, and let's preset that that limiter a little bit. Let's see. We did a little bit too much. Oh, I think I'm out of paint. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so let's get really close here. It's a very, a very, a very hair trigger. 
okay? Really just touch it and it goes, okay? So you really have to get uh, used to the feel. With very hair trigger. This is a 2.0 needle. So you can get in there pretty close for detail with this and that's what I'm going to use it for. This is going to be my detail brush and I have to remember that it's a very touchy, touchy trigger. It's just a little bit, just a little bit and it goes. Okay. So let's wrap this up. So I have an air trap on this and um, also um, I'm using uh, Vallejo model air in this. I did put a couple drops of my Jesus juice in there. I just to thin it a little bit just to so the paint will come out. It didn't spider or anything like that. Um, got a very, very touchy trigger. So when you pull on it, you're going to get paint. Okay. So it takes getting used to. It's a new brush for me. It's going to be my second brush. And uh, what else can I say about it? This is so you're, you're going to open up your needle. If you get dry, if you get dry, what do you call it? Dry tip, it's called. And uh, I'm going to strip it down and clean it. I'm not going to do that now in this video. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I think for uh, $42 uh, with shipping, I think it's a good deal. I would, I would definitely look into this uh, brush as a second one. Um, it's not, you know, a $200 brush. $200 brushes, you know, you can find those at Spray Gunner. And, uh, they have good products. And, you know, they're, you know, some of them are made in Japan. And most of them are made in Japan. And, uh, you'll find, you know, better quality. Definitely. Um, with the trigger and the parts themselves. But, uh, for me, this, this, this does it for me for now. And, uh, this fills my second void. So I thank you for watching, and yes, brushes are not magnetic, okay, so I don't think they're magnetic, they're not made out of metal, so they won't rust. Uh, thank you for watching, I was saying, and uh, have a great day, please rate, subscribe, ring the notification bell for new videos, and take care.